I want to introduce you to a simple formula that we can use to solve problems related to the speed of sound or speed in general. And here's the formula. So speed, we actually use the symbol V. Speed is distance divided by time. The way I remember this, think about the speed limit outside the school. 40 kilometers per hour. So what does per mean? Well per is actually divided by. So it's kilometers divided by hours. Now kilometers is obviously a measure of distance and an hour is obviously a measure of time. So speed is distance divided by time. That's how I remember it. So here's our formula. Speed equals distance divided by time. I'm going to show you a little example of how we can apply this formula. So we're having a thunderstorm. Here's the house and here's the thunderstorm somewhere off into the, into the distance. The time it takes between when we see the lightning and we hear thunder is three seconds. On uh, this particular day, in these particular conditions, the speed of sound is 331 meters per second. Now, in this particular problem, we want to work out how far away the storm is. So that's how far is the distance? What's the distance the storm is away? So here's our formula. V equals D divided by T. Now we want to put D by itself on the left hand side. So there's a couple of ways that we can do this. I want to show you something called a mad T. See it's got a T here. This is a really nice way of learning how to move an equation around. Now, so what we need to make sure we know though is that this line here means times and this line here means divide. So we've got our D must be at the top and our T under the divide is here and then we've got V. Um, one way you might remember it is DVT like a deep vein thrombosis. Um, you've got to get it the right way around otherwise it's not going to work. So we've got our V, D and T in this position like this. Now what we need to do this time is we need to manipulate the equation so D is by itself. So the way we do that is, so D, cover that one up because we want that by itself, and we've got V times T. So D equals V times T. Another way we can do this, if you want to do it mathematically, we've got to get D by itself. So to do that, we need to get rid of this divided by t. So to do that, because it's divided by, to get rid of it, we need to do the opposite to divided by, which is times. So we times it by t, and that means we can cancel it out. What we do on this side, we have to do on the other side. So now we've got d equals v times t. The only difference is we flip it around. So that's two ways of manipulating the equation so we have d by itself. Now all we need to do is substitute our values for these. So d equals uh, 331 times 3 and that is 993. Now we need to think about what is our unit so we had meters and seconds, so obviously our unit is meters. 993 meters, that's almost a kilometer. Let's do a reality check. If it takes three seconds from when you hear, when you see the flash to when you hear the thunder, does that sound right to you about a, a kilometer away? Absolutely does, and in fact that's a good rule of thumb. Every three seconds there is between flash and thunder is one kilometer. So we define the problem, we identified what we knew and what we wanted to find out. We then found the correct formula. We moved the formula around so that it was the way we needed it. 
We then inputted the values and worked out our answer and then we did a reality check. C, plan, do, check. 